Okay, we're going to welcome two guests to this weekly segment. Renee Morcos is founder of Alice Technologies. Alice is an AI-driven planning and scheduling platform for the construction industry. We also have Mike McBean, Director of Pre-Construction with Build Group, based out of San Francisco, so a GC firm. So Renee and Mike, thanks for joining us. Thank you for thanks having for us. us. So Renee, I want to start with you. This Alice Technologies has been around for three, four years, I believe. Um, it's really neat. I think most of our, most people listening to this or watching this video probably don't fully understand what um, AI is doing in this particular application, which is applying it to construction scheduling. So can you kind of kick us off with uh, just a few minutes on what Alice technology is and how's, how it's used in the marketplace? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Alice is the first uh, construction, generative construction optimizer. And uh, what sort of Revit did for design, Alice does for construction. And so when you design something as an architect in Revit, you can change parameters. You can change the height of the column, and then all the columns in your model change, and your cross sections change, and your you know, elevations change, and your quantities change automatically. That change ripples through your system. Uh, with Alice, you can also change parameters by you know, adding a crane, trying overtime, adding a crew, trying fast drying concrete. You know, whatever you want to change in your simulation, you, you tweak that parameter. And again, that ripples through your system. And so you can immediately see the impact uh, that these changes have on your construction project. Uh, and you see it through the output, which is a 4D you know, video as well as a schedule. And so you can instantaneously generate lots of different ways of building a given project, right? And you do it by uploading a rule set. You upload a rule set, uh, for example, what resources do you need, what tasks, what calendars, very similar to an existing schedule, right? And there are a couple of slight tweaks, but you upload a rule set, you send it to the, to the software, it crunches those rules for you, generates schedules that satisfy your rules, and then you can change those rules on the fly by you know, adding delays, et cetera. So that's what Alice is. So you know, traditional uh, scheduling techniques, it, you know, I would imagine uh, professionals would use experience and intuition to kind of drive some of those approaches and decisions. Is the idea is that that person would have to replicate that uh, same process multiple times, which would of course take hours and days to figure out what is the best possible approach, where if you apply uh, technology to it, it makes those decisions within a matter of minutes or seconds. Is that kind of how AI is used in this case? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's interesting about it is it doesn't eliminate the need for a human, you know, gut sense or the human sort of um, touch, right? Just like a structural analysis program doesn't eliminate the need for a structural engineer. Um, what it does, on the other hand, is it enables you to capture that gut sense in a way that, that, that the computer can sort of generate. So yes, um, once you set Alice up, which takes roughly the same time as creating a, a one schedule with existing technology, then you can start rerunning it, you know, to your heart's content. The, imagine the cost of exploring an option with zero, right? And in, in, in the course of a typical afternoon, our clients will run 600 million simulations and the software will select the best 20 for analysis. Mm -hmm. And from my understanding, you know, there's, there's a, a schedule savings by doing this. So what are we looking at here by using this platform, you know, five, 10, 20% time saving? So, so we in the last year have run uh, just over $15 billion of construction through the system. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with, you know, some of the largest companies, Kajima, Exxon, Takanaka, Parsons, ABR, um, Build Group, obviously, on some of the largest projects in the world. Uh, and typical savings is uh, an average of 17% on duration, an average of 13% on labor and equipment costs. Yeah, and, and Mike, I'd like to get your thoughts on use of this platform. Obviously, uh, you're using it on the 5M project. It's a, it's a mega project in San Francisco. Can you explain why, you know, how you uh, came to uh, know uh, Alice Technologies and what attracted you to this particular platform and how you're using it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, on our 5M project, I'm, I'm glad it's a, a mega project. Um, thankfully, it's kind of our typical wheelhouse here. Um, and, and concrete structures, for the most part, aren't inher inherently complicated. But it's super time consuming to 
to spin schedules, sequences, resources in, in multiple different ways, figuring out what the best path to success is in both time and money. So with the 5M project, um, found it with some common connections and met Renee and partnered up about this time last year and ran our pilot program using 5M as kind of our, uh, our, our pilot, if you will learning how to use the software. We already had a, a, a contract, the job was awarded. We were in a pre-construction phase of the project. So it was really just about um, f finding the best, uh, the best solution to generate revenue for us and income um, mm -hmm. and profitability on the job. So with our given uh, five day cycle, if you will, on a floor to floor cycle on the concrete structure um, and given logistics in San Francisco, adding cranes um it is hard to do it doesn't uh it's not necessarily the, the most cost effective solution to build something faster um logistics wise there's just not many places for multiple cranes on a job so it's figuring out how to best utilize some of these basic resources like one crane one man lift that you can fit and figure out our time now these structures are so hook dependent um uh, if i were to analyze this schedule and sequence um, with multiple different working hours, uh, different types of equipment, formwork that needs to be hooked up versus uh, hydraulically, self climb core wall, that type of thing. What we really dove in was analyzing our crane schedule, um, how hook dependent everything was. Our real savings that happened on 5M wasn't directly time. Our, our schedule was more or less just verified that we were doing it right. But we were able to uh, accomplish quite a bit of savings and buy out of our formwork, something that we typically would have put a self climbing core wall in uh, on the project. We're, we're now using a, a crane jumped and crane set set of formwork for the core wall on the job. Which that alone is, is quite a bit of savings in just formwork. Hey, Mike, would you have come to that conclusion without a platform like this or? you know, using possibly, <laughs> at, <laughs> at, at, at possibly yes. Um, the, what Renee started off referring to is, is being able to set these parameters, uh, mm -hmm. that really take the experience of, of building construction and concrete structures from our superintendents, our project managers, our pre-con directors, having that experience input mm -hmm. in these parameters is, is really, really key. And I probably could have done it. It just would have taken, uh, a tremendous amount of more time to figure out. So my savings is, is really scalability. I have to look at a lot of projects, a lot of sequences, a lot of schedules, being able to, to spend a little bit of legwork up front that we normally would anyways, and quickly be able to see a whole bunch of different options and choices is really powerful. What about uh, use of the tool within your firm moving forward? Are you planning to use it uh, at a deeper level on 5M or other projects? Not necessarily on 5M at this point. This this project is, is well underway um, and being managed uh, accordingly. Absolutely moving forward. There's many big projects in California and over the West Coast that we're looking at. Um, some are quite a bit larger and more complicated than what 5M is, um, where Alice will absolutely play a role in helping us win contracts and, and get to solutions. And then Renee, you know, so Mike mentioned crane schedules, certainly more of a, you know, concrete uh, structural um, type construction. Uh, are there specific applications where Alice is just a home run that you find from your experience now, you know, three years in? Um, is it the mega projects where they're just so complex and there's so mo moving, uh, so many moving parts and pieces? Or is it steel versus concrete? Is it certain types of structures, high rises versus more uh, sprawling mixed use centers? I, I just want to get your thoughts on how the, the, the software is working across the various applications. Yeah, it's a great question. The technology works for any type of construction. And I, and I really say any. We've run everything from $12 million parking lots to $3.7 billion airports and everything in between. Data centers, high rises, uh, corporate headquarters, um, offices, hospitals, and, and so on. Um, uh, uh, wind turbines sort of projects, solar projects. Um, we've run it on just about anything you can think of. Uh, what we find is that it, it's the biggest home run for folk that care uh, about how to build it in detail, self-perform, 
uh, folks that are uh, you know managing a part of the project, folks that really care about resource allocation, resource optimization, because the tool will answer what's the best sequence, what's the right number of steel crews, what's the right number of cranes, what's the right amount of uh, overtime for who, when, you know, this, these are questions that you get to answer. And so anybody that's interested in answering those questions, it's the ideal tool for them. Mm -hmm. And then, Renee, what's next for this technology? Is it just expansion of use? Is it um, the, the actual platform itself? Are you constantly iterating the actual uh, black box function? I, I don't know, I just want to get your thoughts on where Alice goes from here. Yeah, I think that I can sort of answer two things. I can tell you that for us as a company, we're releasing what we call the manage feature and the ability to update progress, save baselines, and then explore options based on what happened over the last month or two weeks or whenever the update cycle was. So that's for us as a company. Um, I think for the industry, what's going to happen is that we have invented generative construction simulation or generative construction optimization. Uh, the industry already has generative design. And we are actually already working with a company that's looking at integrating the two. And so what will happen is that you will start seeing companies generating tens of thousands of design options, each one of which will have you know tens of thousands of construction options. And the software will crunch all that for you and say, here's the optimal design and the optimal way to build it, right? Currently, those two are separate. You can generate lots of design options, you can generate lots of construction options, but you haven't sort of linked them. And I think that's where the field's headed definitely in the next, I'd say, three years, actually, even. Oh, it's exciting stuff. So, Mike McBean, Renee Morcos, I want to thank you for your time. Um, good luck with the 5M project, Mike, and Renee, good luck with Alice. Thank you. Thanks, David. Thanks, Renee. Okay.